वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट दिस इज मोहम्मद जैन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फैकल्टी ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियर श्री राम स्वरूप यूनिवर्सिटी एंड नाउ दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर टू ऑफ आर कोर्स स्ट्रक्चरल डायनामिक्स वी विल कवरिंग टूडे द सेकेंड टॉपिक दैट इज मैथमेटिकल मॉडल ऑफ सिंगल डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम सिस्टम नाउ टॉपिक्स विच हैज टू बी कवर first one is the introduction to vibration we can say or single degree of freedom system and the assumption to make a mathematical model next my how to make a mathematical model of a single degree of freedom system these three topic we will be covering today okay no introduction no as written here when the elastic system vibrate because of inherent forces no external force are included it is called free vibration so here which we are discussing here the free vibration like see this is a pen here and i am initially i have displaced this i this pen but i have removed i am not then applying it it force again then it is going into a free vibration okay now before moving further we should also know what is degree of freedom degree of freedom now uh, what is degree of freedom we should know about it and actually it is the number of ind independent coordinate necessary to completely specify the configuration of position of a system at any time okay again i am repeating it it is the number of the independent coordinate necessary to, to completely specify the configuration or position of a system at any time okay this is the degree of freedom okay. now what do you mean by single degree of freedom system as here we are dealing with single it means only one independent coordinate is necessary okay only one independent coordinate is necessary for to specify or to do the analysis of such uh, degree of freedom system okay now moving forward towards the vibration analysis okay now when our body goes into vibration the analysis can be done in four steps okay? and these step uh, is first one first step is mathematical model of a real system mathematical model that we have to make a mathematical model of the real system and the second step is to formation of governing equation formation of governing governing equation okay and the third one is and the third one is solution of this governing equation this is solution of governing starting short equation okay now fourth one is interpretation of the results now the solution which you are getting it from the step 3 now the result has to be interpret whether they are accurate or how interpretation of results okay now these are the four step which you have to follow while doing your vibration analysis okay. now moving on to next now assumption in making the mathematical model of single degree of freedom basically these are the three assumption which has been written here the first one is the total mass of the portal frame is assumed to act at slab level most importantly it means that column masses are ignored very important column mass are ignored or we can say that partition wall so partition wall mass is also ignored okay now the second one is the beam slash slab is assumed to be infinitely rigid. okay it means that the stiffness of the structure is only provided by the columns okay? now flexibility here the flexibility of slab or beam is ignored 
can write it here flexibility of slab and beam is ignored okay now the third point the beam column joint is assumed to be rigid without any rotation see since the our building is made monolithically so we assume that the torsion will not be created in our building so we can say that the it can be assumed that the joint can be rigid can be without any rotation at joint okay so these are the three assumptions which you have to remember while making a mathematical model moving on to our next slide okay now let's see by following the above exam by following the above uh, assumption see here what is happening beam is only considered this beam is only considered uh, weight is only considered as at beam level only okay the stiffness will only be provided by these column okay so by these assumption we can make a mathematical model okay like spring and mass system like made here see this is the what is this, this is spring you can assume this is column okay this is column and this is the weight at slab level slab level okay now see here i'm just clearing once again here this one is very important it is the damping coefficient you can say damp damper okay this is a damper which dampens the vibration okay so what is happening here see uh, this this is the spring mass system spring mass system of a structure now <clears throat> what will be happening here a force is applied that due to this force uh, we can say you can say due to this force a displacement has been created or an initial displacement have been given to a system okay now since the displacement is this side now an opposite force due to the spring see here spring is attached an opposite force due to this spring will be act which will be equivalent to kx as it in here and a damper is attached here okay now this will also okay uh, act in the against motion uh, so this will be having cx dot okay now again due to the inertia as the body wants to get to its position of equilibrium an inertial force will be act and it will be equivalent to mx double dot so basically this is the free body diagram this is the let me do it again this is the free body diagram of this system and this is what is this, this is actually the mathematical model this is the mathematical model of this portal frame so we have learned how to make a mathematical model and this is single degree as only single coordinate is necessary to define this system okay so now moving on to our next slide okay thank you very much for attending today's lecture uh, we will be meeting very soon for lecture 3 on topic structural dynamics